I think it's time to get a little bit rude. <laughs> No, seriously, greetings, the Astro 30 here, and today I'm going to take a look at this uh, desktop multimeter that Danish Dart sent me, one of my patrons, uh, just to see what it's like and what it does, and if it works. I assume it does, and I'm not really sure of the reason why he sent it to me, maybe because he doesn't use it anymore, but I think it would be an advantage to my channel when I'm measuring stuff to have something that stands up like this so it's easier to film. That may be the reason he sent it to me. Or I could just be guessing at this point. Anyway, it's an O1, I believe that's how you pronounce it. XDM1041 digital multimeter with 55,000 counts. I think it might be a good idea to plug it in. Got this spare extension lead here. It's got a very short lead supplied with it. Um, it's probably the shortest IEC lead I've ever seen. Anyhow, let's hit the power button. Um, let's hit the power button. You've got to press and hold it. Well, so far it works. Hmm, nice. So we're on the voltage DC scale. So, I've got a range switch here. So range is auto 5 volt, manual 5 volt, auto 5 volt. So that's all that does. There's up down button. So you've got manual 1000 volt. But at the moment it's auto 5 volt. Okay, so this can do ohms, voltage, capacitance and diode check on this connection. You've got a micro amp connection here for like measuring microamps and a 10 amp jack here for measuring anything between 1 and 10 amps or just normal current. Now it's got a run stop function so it's stopped at the moment. It's got a recording function so you can actually record. Uh, it's got a math function, dual function, not sure what those functions do. Utility function um, so, I'm not sure what any of these do, it's to do with recording this or, or sampling off of this because at the back here, there is a connector, a serial connector that you can connect the output of this into a computer if you want to record your measurements for whatever reason you want to do that for. So, up here we've got voltage button so we can go auto, 500 volt, 5 millivolt, 5 volt, an amps button, 5 amps, 500 microamps, and well, it doesn't say anything higher than that. Now we've got resistance, auto ranging. So let's just take these two probe leads, and I'll just touch my fingers on both. Apparently I'm around about 500 kiloohms, if not more. Anyway, so if I touch those probes together, we get 0 ohms. Well, 0 0.09. Let's find some things to measure to play with it. It's a very nice bright display. Anyhow, Danish Dart did... It's a really nice display. That's, that's nice. Um, oh, for sake what do you want you really rang me up to tell me that can I just record please thank you um, uh, as I said this is a really nice display nice bright display don't know why it's counting up like that I'll have to short the probes right. um, anyway Danish Dart at some point did send me this 3 ohm 25 watt resistor so let's measure the resistance of that I'm not sure what the purpose behind this is this um, dummy load I'm going to assume it's 4 because it's 3 ohms not 4 
So it wouldn't be for testing amplifiers, I wouldn't have thought. So if I can get these probes to agree. It's fairly slow to count, so you've got to keep that in mind. It's around 3 ohms. Next I'll measure this 15,000 microfarad 50 volt capacitor on the capacitance scale. Which is there. Now I don't know if it can, but we'll soon find out. Make sure it's discharged before trying to measure. Overload. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I'll find something else. This shitty light globe that I pulled apart in another video. Let's see if I can just measure this capacitor here. Maybe if I can get it on there, it'd be nice. Alright, I'll do it at the top of the capacitor then. Okay, so you cannot measure electrolytic capacitors. Not that I am aware of. Let's try. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like you can only measure the nanofarad scale. I'll have a look for a um, another capacitor. Okay, so I've got this little tiny 100 nanofarad capacitor, or it could be 100 picofarad actually. This says 100 on it, so we'll see what this measures. Absolutely nothing. Sing it again. Um, okay. Oops, I just lost the capacitor now. Okay, let's try a uh, 33 picofarad capacitor. I don't know if this is going... Sorry, a 330 picofarad capacitor. I don't know if this is going to measure either. It's worth a try. If I can get my probes on there. It's not measuring even 33 picofarad. 330 picofarad either. Well, okay. Well, I believe this tantalum capacitor is 100 nanofarad, so if it doesn't measure this, there's something wrong or I'm doing something wrong. Okay. There we go. It says it's 97.4 nanofarad, so really this capacitance meter is only really for measuring, I would assume, above 1000 picofarad and probably below a certain electrolytic range. I don't know if it would actually measure an electrolytic that was like one microfarad or something, but... Well, we can find out. I do actually happen to have an electrolytic one microfarad. So, we'll see if this gives us any measurement. Oh, for God's sake. No, overload. Okay, so it's only a basic measuring tool for the microfarad. So this is only a basic measuring tool and only does a certain range of the nanofarad scale. I suppose that's fine if you're just wanting to measure green caps and stuff to see if they're still within spec before replacing them. Electro electrolytics you can use an ESR meter instead. Now, what else have we got? Well, we've got diode tests. I assume that would work. We do have frequency. Um, currently it's picking up 50 hertz from somewhere. It's probably, the leads are acting as an antenna at the moment, so it's picking up probably the mains cable from the device itself. Now, you can measure frequency. However, I've got no way of, well, actually, yes, I do. Well, I finally got it to measure frequency off the computer. We are now roughly one kilohertz so I'm going to up the frequency a bit
to 6,790 hertz. Six point seven eight nine. That's pretty close. That's kilohertz. So yes, the meter does work. Anyway, that's the O1 XDM one zero four one digital multimeter. Works kind of okay, except on the capacitance function. But yeah, that's what you get. Anyway, I'm the Astro Thirty saying, if you like this video, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe below. And you can always follow me on Facebook. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.